Right, so do you have Lord Reach? Do you think you're shadow banned? I might know a guy who has a video just about that. Alright people, welcome back to the second video of my Algorithm Exposed series where we talk about, you know, things about the Instagram algorithm and today we're going to talk about the shadow ban. If you're new here by the way, my name is Dominic. I usually teach social media marketing, something along, you know, Instagram marketing and all of that. So if you're in for the Instagram tip, social media marketing tip, personal branding tip and um, you know, if you maybe want to escape this whole thing called 9 to 5, which is obviously just a big illusion for just, you know, just by using Instagram for example or something else, hit that subscribe button people. We're, we're going to cover all of that in the coming months. Anyway, so let's just jump right into it. We're talking about the shadow ban. We're talking about what it is, what you can do against it, you know, and you know, all the basic concepts behind it. Because I feel like people are misunderstanding things a lot. You know, people read things off the internet and you know, um, it's just a big confusion out there in the in the internet world. Alright, so what exactly is the shadow ban? And you know, usually people say they're shadow ban if their reach gets lowered, their exposure gets lowered usually by Instagram and they're all have a big you know question mark at the top of their heads because they just don't know why and I'm um, I'm here to tell you a couple of things that I noticed a couple of things that I have observed by you know managing you know hundreds of profiles now so first of all before we get into the whole thing the shadow ban is not one thing it's not the shadow ban if you do this you'll get shadow banned no In my opinion there's lots of different various factors that can lead into your you know, reach and exposure being lowered by Instagram. I think there's some flagging system behind that. You know, if you do something's wrong, you get a flag. You know, depending on what you do, you know, the flags are weighted differently. That's my opinion. Uh, I have a short ebook where I talk about, you know, this flagging system a little bit more. But, you know, anyway, so whatever you do, whatever wrong behavior you do on Instagram, it usually ends up in, you know, your exposure being reached. And which is, by the way, the worst thing that could happen. Of course. Right, so <clears throat> first of all, we're gonna take a look at what Instagram really loves to have. Is this Instagram, what do they really want? And the answer, my friends, is Instagram wants happy people. Instagram wants people to stay on their platform, to return to their platform, to tell their friends to use their platform for people to actually love the platform. And this is always, you know, when keeping in mind, always when thinking about the algorithm stuff, this is the main thing that Instagram wants. By the way, on Tinder, the same. The algorithm always wants to make sure, okay, my real users need to be happy. My real users need to be, you know, satisfied. All right, so welcome back. We're just here. I just had recorded the whole video. I forgot to hit record, you know, that's my life. Anyway, so we're talking about what does Instagram absolutely not want to have what does instagram absolutely not need and you know big thing here is they absolutely hate spammers you know it's usually people that really spam the shit out of everything you know and what do spammers do spammers of course they spam they go into comments and you know comment the same things all over again. Comment like 30 comments in a row with the same thing. Shit, you know, usually with some you know, words like click or check out or anything like that. So you don't want to comment, you know, lots of comments in a row, even like two or three comments in a row, you know, the same ones. I would advise against that. And you know, things like that could lead to a shadow ban. What do they also do? They go into the comments and put the hashtags in the comments. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, by you putting the hashtag in the comments yourself, it actually gives Instagram the, you know, the hint, okay, this guy might actually be a spammer. It's, we might put a flag on him. On him. And you know, you get lots of flags. Now the not United States flags, this is the Austrian flag. You get lots of flags there. And you don't want that. Also, what you don't want to do is, you know, everything that has to do with some kind of bot or some automated activity. For example, uh, you don't want to comment or you don't want to copy your comments all over again. For example, you have three posts like here. You put in the same kinds of hashtags all over, you know, copy and paste the same kinds of hashtags down all over again. You don't want that. 
You know, it's the same principle they will see. They will actually, okay, what's what's this guy trying to do? Is he probably trying to scam? Trying to, you know, spam, scam, all of that. If there's a slight possibility, maybe you'll get a flag. And that's obviously what you don't want to get. Right, so next thing, and this leads me into my other video, my latest video, but the image recognition software. Here, it, here is the thing. It's supposed to be a camera, people, right? So this is the image recognition software, okay? And this scans all of, you know, of all of Instagram, tries to scan, scan your posts, right? For example, you have a post of a mountain, of this beautiful mountain, and you have a hashtag in it called tomato. Ooh. Hashtag tomato doesn't have anything to do with that. So maybe the image recognition software along with some AI stuff that I'm pretty sure is happening in the back, they will say, man, doesn't make any sense. And then they will see, okay, all right, what's he, what else is he doing? Is he spamming? Is he, you know, copying comments? Is he doing that and that? And more, the more you do, the more flex you get and you know, you know the game by now already. Right, so the other thing is, it also scans your pictures for, first of all, for, for, you know, the words that are written in it, you know, some offensive language. For example, you have something written in the back, and this is, this is probably, I'm not sure, but I think it is. If you have something, and if you remember my video, it can read like the tiny things. So for example, you have a business card in the back from, you know, I don't know, Brazzers business card where it says, you know, <laughs> and then stuff like that they will scan that and they will see okay this is oh, of course you're gonna get a flag from that you could get shadow banned right next thing you want to look out for offensive content you know in general for all of that things that I'm not allowed to draw here because probably YouTube does the same uh, anyway so if you have some content in there that could be offensive you know, you know don't do it probably. And the last thing that probably leads to all this, you know, shadow banning things is, you know, do you have any other kinds of unusual activity? Or do you you always have to look like a real person? I love drawing. You always have to appear like a real person. A cap or a hat. Whatever that is, man. You know, with your phone in your hand product placement no uh, you have to appear like a real person so what what does a real person do it doesn't just go straight to Instagram like comment this and that but you know I don't have to tell you that but you know if you're using some kinds of bots you know watch out for that because uh, like I said there's been an update Instagram is looking at the way that you scroll looking at your behavior on Instagram what for example DM groups and this is uh, one thing that um, probably it's kind of bad for all of you guys that are in DMs groups right now because Instagram checks, okay? From the DM group, people come in straight to your profile and then they do the whole thing, liking this, this, and that. And of course, Instagram sees, okay? You come from, right from the DM group, right from there, or from Telegram, because they can see like their sources, and then they can see exactly what's this user doing. And you know, usually a user, you know, scrolls through there, and of course, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's an AI behind that that kind of knows, okay, this is real user behavior, this is not real user behavior. You know, this might be just a DM group. And of course they know what DM groups are. I mean, they check the internet as well. In my humble opinion, uh, my friends, I would even steer away from any DM groups at all. As sad as it sounds, it's probably, you know, the future. The future is all for the real thing, all for the great content and all of that. Right. So, what? How? How can you? How can you use that information to you know get out of this mess? Get out of this shadow man. First of all, stop all sketchy behavior and always take a step back and think. Okay, is this kind of a sketchy behavior thing or not? Always do that. If you've done some stuff like that, maybe you have. There's people out there that do stuff like that. You know, stop doing, stop posting anything at all for a couple of days, and then slowly get back into it. And the you know, most important thing is. Focus on your content, focus on your content. I can stress this enough. Content is the most important thing. It's going to be the whole Instagram, the whole social media game, the whole personal branding game. It's going to be a long term game. It's going to be a really long way, but you know, it will be worth it in the end. I'm pretty sure about that. There's not a real shortcut to success. And you know, if there's a shortcut, it might have some downsides to that. And you know, we're probably gonna talk about that tomorrow or a little bit. Um, yeah. Anyway, so do you think you are shadow banned? 
uh, drop your names below. Maybe I, I've checked some out. Maybe I'll try to find something, some link between all of those profiles. Maybe we find another link why your reach is getting lowered. Because you know, right now I'm just trying to figure out why. Because lots and lots of people you know, tell me, okay, my reach significantly lowered since you know a couple of weeks, a couple of months. Right. So drop that down below in the comments. And if you like these kinds of videos, please hit that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. I like this video. I'm sorry if this has been a little bit of a mess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Dominic. See you later. Bye bye.